Hey girl, it's Raya Morel and girl, this setup, this background is giving me major flashbacks because if you are an OG, then you'll remember when I literally just used to film in front of my desk, in front of my black and white damask wallpaper and all my pastel and hot pink decor. Um, we've clearly come a long way. So today I am filming in front of my desk, well more of in front of the wall, because we are doing a desk tour. I'll be giving you guys a tour of my desk. I'll be showing you how I organize everything, how I set everything up and where I got everything. So you guys just saw a little like montage overview of my desk. So you kind of already know the vibe that I'm going for, the aesthetic, you know? So for my desk and for this room in general, my newest aesthetic is just very clean, very bright, very minimalist. And I was actually debating on whether I should even make this video because when I searched desk tour on YouTube, literally all the desks were like so colorful and like so filled with all these like art supplies. And I was like, my desk looks so boring compared to theirs. But I figured, you know what, Let, let's still do it because, you know, maybe there's some of you out there who prefer like a more basic, more minimalist desk. So hopefully this video will help you guys, will give you inspiration on how you can set up your own desk. <laughs> Anyways, before we begin, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I would love to have you be a part of our little family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to get notified every single time I post a video Saturday 2 p.m. And by the way, I do have an ongoing back to school giveaway. It's the second part, part two of the giveaway. So if you want to join, I'll have that video linked down below or just click this card over here. Of course, let's start with the desk itself because girl, I have gotten so many comments, so many DMs about this desk. Unfortunately, it is custom. So I'm sorry, I can't like refer you to any store, but it is just a pretty basic desk. It's just a regular white wooden desk with three drawers on each side. And I actually had this desk renovated recently because before the top of the desk was just plain wood But it got so dirty like it was just full of smudges from like makeup and pens and markers And it just wasn't cute anymore like it really ruined the whole clean vibe clean aesthetic So I figured that since I can't you know get a new desk since that desk is literally mounted to the wall I figured that a quick fix would be to just put wallpaper on top of it so that's tip number one if you want to quickly fix your desk if it's dirty just literally buy wallpaper from a hardware store stick it on top of it and then an extra tip and extra step that I did is I ordered a glass top this way my desk is way easier to clean because it's glass next we have my chair I've also gotten a lot of questions about this chair and I got this from the SM department store this one was around I think like three six or three eight pesos and I honestly was not planning on buying this chair I was planning on buying a way more affordable chair but my mom was like you know no just buy the more expensive one buy that chair because it looks better and it's a chair like you're gonna use it all the time so it's a good investment so I caved and I ended up buying the more expensive chair but no regrets because it's so cute and it perfectly matches the vibe of my room the gray just ties everything together and I'm obsessed with it it's really comfy as well which is obviously a huge huge plus Okay, now we're gonna go by section. So let's start with the very right, the rightmost side of my desk. So here we just have a few decor pieces. So first we have this frame, which I purchased on Shopee and the drawing, the line art was actually created by me. <laughs> so I went on Pinterest, I found a template that I made that line art on Procreate. And as you guys know, if you guys watch my What's In My iPad video, I have been trying my hardest to learn how to draw on Procreate. And I would like to say that I have definitely improve because I've been taking a ton of Procreate classes on a Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of creative classes for you to choose from. Since getting an iPad, I've been trying my best to learn how to draw on Procreate and I am just so happy that there are a ton of Procreate specific classes for me to learn from on Skillshare. So I just finished taking this introductory class to Procreate. So now I'm leveling up and I'm taking this class which focuses on 
drawing people and I've been really loving this class so far because it's really great for beginners and I've learned so much already and I just really appreciate how Skillshare has such a wide variety of classes like girl in the four months that I've been on Skillshare I've taken classes from graphic design to marketing to now procreate and I'm so sure that Skillshare has a class for your passions and interests as well so if you want to subscribe for a whole year of amazing classes taught by industry professionals it costs only less than ten dollars a month but if you just you know want to dip your toes in the water first try out some classes for a few months then great news the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of their premium membership so make sure to click that link so you can explore your creativity by taking as many classes as you want on Skillshare now back to the video so next to that frame we have some plants because they say that it's really beneficial to have real plants like real real plants in your room because of the oxygen circulation and all that so the cactus the tall one is actually real I've had that for maybe a, uh, a month and a few weeks now and she's still alive which is a great accomplishment but the little one next to it um, it's pretty obvious that it's fake but at least the big one is real <laughs> now on to the middle of my desk so here we have all my stands all my devices so right in the middle we have my MacBook and my MacBook stand and under it we just have a little Muji notepad because I love notepads I'm a big notepad user I write down my things to do for the day on my notepad so it's definitely an essential and I really like how this MacBook stand is really elevated so there's a ton of space at the bottom to the right of the MacBook we have my iPhone and my iPhone stand and I love how this iPhone stand has a little dish where I keep my AirPods and then behind it we have a few things so first we have a clear insulated double walled glass that literally everyone has of course to pair with it to, to complete the aesthetic we also have a clear glass straw and then behind that I actually have a little mini acrylic organizer from Muji where I like to keep my eyeglasses because I do have not the best eyesight and then to the left of my MacBook we have my iPad and my iPad stand again I'm obsessed with stands you guys probably know that by now you're like girl we get it like <laughs> but I just love this whole system with my devices on their stands because usually the situation is me working on my MacBook, maybe writing a paper, planning stuff, writing an outline, scheduling, whatever. But then I have Netflix playing on my iPad, so it's very convenient because while I'm working, I can just glance to the right and watch Netflix, you know? And then since my phone is on a stand as well, whenever I get notifications, it's so easy for me to just check it because it's on a stand and Face ID automatically unlocks. Small things like that really make your whole working scenario situation just flow more so I definitely appreciate my stands now on the far left of my desk we have a mirror and on top of the mirror we have my Xiaomi mini speakers which I am very obsessed with and I use literally every single day and we have my perfume this is my favorite perfume from Jo Malone girl the mirror that silver mirror let me tell you that was like a whole journey to find that type of mirror just like the plain silver one is so hard to find nowadays when I went the SM department store we only had like the mirrors that lit up and it was like 2,000 3,000 pesos and I'm like girl I'm not gonna spend 2 3k on a mirror and I even went on Shopee and Lazada but all the mirrors there had really bad reviews because apparently it was like so small in real life finally one day I just decided to go to Miniso and it was there it was just there in Miniso for like 400 pesos so girl if you're looking for a mirror like that Miniso is the place to go and then we have two acrylic organizers I just put one on top of the other so this is where I like to keep all of my essentials all the things that I regularly need when I'm on my desk and some of you might be wondering Raya your desk literally has six huge drawers why do you need like separate acrylic organizers that's because my drawers are actually filled with makeup and skincare and hair tools and hair products so they are absolutely filled there's no space for stationery and school supplies and I do have like a stationery closet 
but I really did not want to have to go back and forth whenever I need like a pen or like a sticky note, you know? So I decided to just put like a few acrylic organizers on my desk so that everything that I could possibly need is just within reach. Okay, so this is how I organize my acrylic organizers. At the very top, we have all my whiteboard markers, some highlighters, some washi tape. I don't use washi tape. I just put it there because it looks cute. It adds color, you know? And then under that, we have even more highlighters, calligraphy pens, correction tape, sticky tape. Below that, we have all my post-its, even more tapes, my name tags. Below that, we have all my Apple cords and chargers. This isn't even everything, girl. Apple just has a lot of like cords and chargers. And below that, we have all my other cords, like for my hard drives to charge the speakers. And then I have some extra memory cards just in case I'm filming nearby and I quickly need to change my memory card. And then below that, I have my hard drives. I use these all the time. I have my USB-C dongle. And then next to that, we have this super cute acrylic organizer. I actually got this from the SM department store and I'm obsessed with it. And this is where I keep all my pens. So at the very bottom, we have all my binder clips, paper clips. Next level, we have my stapler, scissors, cutter, ruler. And then we have all my Muji pens. You guys know I'm a Muji pen addict. So yeah, that's really it. That's how I organize my desk. That's how my desk looks like. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down below and I'll try my best to answer them. And that's really it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next Saturday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.